Hi, welcome to this new video on Marvelous Designer 5 and today we're going to create a t-shirt. Stick around if you want to learn how to do that. So to start off we're going to create the front of the t-shirt. and We're only going to create one half as we're going to then unfold it to have it symmetric on the opposing side. So to start off I'm going to start at the shoulder here just before where the sleeve would attach and then I'm going to bring it up to the base of the neck and come down towards that centre line in a sort of circular pattern to mimic the collar. Then I'm just going to hold shift so I can drag down this line. I can drag it for as long as I want and it would be straight. But I'm going to go to about the bottom of the hips here. And then I'm going to still holding shift drag out and I'm going to drag a little bit past the hips to give my t-shirt a bit of uh, a bit more room to just fit in so it's a bit baggier and then I'm going to go to underneath the armpit and like the neck I'm just going to create a sort of circular pattern half a semi-circular pattern to the shoulder and I'm just going to bring this towards the body a bit more so that when we're stitching clothing together there's less room for the clothes to drop and I'm going to edit this as I see fit. So I think for the collar I might have it a bit more curved. Whoops. And then the same for the shoulders. And I think that'll do pretty nicely. Put that in the middle somewhere so we get that nice curve. Okay now I'm happy with that I'm going to put this directly on the center line by dragging and holding shift right click this single line and click unfold. Now we have it symmetrical on the opposing side. To get the back of the t-shirt simply left click using this whole grab tool here, Control c Control v paste it directly over top on this 2D view then in the 3D view use this arrow here to move it in the Z direction to the back of the avatar, right click and flip horizontally and then left click the currently selected t-shirt here, hold shift and drag off to the side. So now the front of our t-shirt is still on the front of the avatar and our back is over here. And we'll finish up this t-shirt by just deleting all these curve points here so that we get this straight edge and then taking our curve modifier here giving that back of the t-shirt a little bit of curve and now we have our collar done pretty well okay in the sleeve bit I'm going to convert all these points to curve points so just right click on each individual point of the sleeves and convert them to curves and now we have our curved sleeves and you can do the same for the collar as we'll need to do that soon anyway so just right clicking all the points convert into curves now we can go ahead and stitch this t-shirt together so we want the inside to the inside same again making sure that none of the seams cross so as you can see this point here lines up with this point here that's exactly how you want it and then we want outside to outside again making sure seams do not cross and hit the arrow to simulate and as you can see our t-shirt fits evenly on the avatar's body we've got some nice wrinkles in there because of the extra baggage in the t-shirt so you don't need to worry about these sharp shoulders here because we're just adding sleeves to it anyway so the topology will be fine when taking it into your next software if you're going to retopologize it. So now to make the sleeves we want to get our create polygon tool again and as you can see now Marvelous Designer tells us the points that were made during the creation of this shape and I'm going to do the same I did with the main body of the t-shirt and just unfold this so I get an even sleeve but I'm going to follow the shape of this shoulder that I made. So just following that shape and then I'm going to left click a bit above 
Go to about where I want my t-shirt to have its length. And as you can see, I've got a bit more of an angle on the sleeve here. That's because I want that extra room for the arm. Now I'm just going to unfold it on the top line and make sure this point here follows the same curve as the rest of the sleeve, otherwise you can get some weird shapes happening. And then this point here in the line, just delete it so we get that straight edge. Like we did with the shoulder, just convert all these points to curves except this middle one. So on either side of that middle one, convert it to curves. And we do that because we need these individual lines to match up with these individual lines. So if I show you, now we take our segment sewing, sew this one to this one, so this part of the sleeve to that part, and then this top, we want to take it and move it over to the outer of this one. Now in the 3D view, left click that sleeve and left click it again so you get the gizmo and just rotate it so it's straight and flat or as close as you can and then just move it above the arm. Now hit simulate and the sleeve will fall directly onto the arm and take up its shape. Now I'm just going to drag with it a bit to get it so it's not sticking up anywhere and now take our sewing tool and sew this part of the sleeve to this part so that it stitches together. Now control C and control V that sleeve, holding shift just drag it off in the other direction and the 2D view flip the pattern horizontally. Select it in the 3D view, right click and do reset 3D arrangement. Like we did with the sleeve on the other side, we need to actually rotate it above the arm. So I'm going to rotate it round like this and move it above, sort of directly above the shoulder so it's closest to the seam. And then like we did, sew the inside to the inside and the outside to the outside. Whoops. And so the outside of the sleeve to the inside of the t-shirt. Now as you can see, this one is looking like it's crossing, but it's actually not. Now hit simulate. And like before, just drag the t-shirt around so it's nice and even, and then sew up the, t the sleeve again. And we have to sew this sleeve after it's been simulated the first time. Otherwise it will join together before even wrapping around the arm and it won't work properly. So now we have our t-shirt and for the most part that's actually pretty good, that's okay. However, to get it more realistic, we need to add some collars. So creating the collars is really simple, we're just going to use a rectangle tool. So first off, this point down here, delete it along with this one. And this will just make it easier to just use a rectangle without having to split it. Now for the neck collar, if you left click this curved line, you'll see we get this value, 239.53. And that is the overall length of the curve. So now, just create a rectangle above that that is quite thin. And left click on the top and it will give you its length, 256.78. So we need to get this down to around 239 or 240 if you want a little bit extra slack. So left click the side of it here and just hold shift and drag and that value there on top and bottom of the rectangle is telling me it's length after I've moved it. And I'm going to go for 239.65 as that was the closest I could get to this original value. And then I'm just going to raise this up a bit as it's looking a bit thin. That might be a bit much. Somewhere around there. And sew this to the neck collar. Simulate. And now what we're going to do is just take that, Control C, Control V. Flip horizontally. And drag it across to the back and do the same. This has a length of 121. So let's just drag one side to get 121 on top. 
and sew that to that part of the collar t-shirt and then do outer to outer like the t-shirt and the inner to inner making sure not to cross and sew them together and now our collar has been made on top and just repeat this process for the sleeve so this has a length of 248 create a rectangle okay need it a bit thinner and it needs to go to 248 or around about stitch it to the bottom of the sleeve and then like with the sleeve after it's been simulated the first time close the collar and repeat for the next sleeve So to repeat for the next sleeve, it's more simpler to just copy and paste it. Sew it to the sleeve, simulate, and sew the ends together, simulate. And we have our sleeve, and then the bottom of the t-shirt is pretty much just like the top of the collar. Get its length, 392.4. Create a rectangle, but because the bottom of the t-shirt is straight, we can actually just go off eye here as well and then make adjustments as needed, 392, 399, so we'll get it a bit closer, 392.06, 392.8, that will do, stitch it to the bottom of the t-shirt and simulate, left click it, copy and paste, take it behind in the 3D view and flip it horizontally, move it to underneath the bottom of the t-shirt, off the back, stitch that together and then just stitch the ends together as well. So outer to outer, inner to inner. And now we have our collars and at the moment they're not really making too much of a difference but that's because they're all using the same material. So I've just loaded up this from the default project which is the red dress. So I'm going to delete these two materials here as we don't need them set my default material at the top to cotton add a new one and then you can rename this if you'd like and rename it collar and then if you instead of that you could just name it cotton if you'd like and collar take the preset of collar with interlining and now just left click holding shift all of those collars you just made and in the fabric setting change it all to collar and that will change all of those selected parts to that fabric material and that will give them a bit more weight and stiffness than the rest of the t-shirt and now you can just play around to get some wrinkles and shapes you'd like once you're happy with what you've been produced then you can up the simulation and take it a bit further with the move tool I'm just going to make sure none of these parts are doing this sort of weird thing here. And I'm pretty happy with the overall result. Oh, there's an extra part. Just keep pulling at it until it's folded down. Now in the 2D window I'm going to left click and drag over everything and change its particle distance to 10. And at this point I'd recommend saving your project, so just click Control save and I'm going to call this T-Shirt Tut. It's going to save it and then I'm going to synchronize it to start. And this particle distance here means that there are more vertices in the T-Shirt so we get much finer and crisper folds. Again, mess around as you see fit, maybe you want one T-Shirt sleeve just sort of rolled up. This part is mainly for like animation of characters and stuff where you'd create the folds and the way they're actually wearing the clothing. And there you have it, you have your t-shirt made in Marvelous Designer and just left click and drag over all this, file, export, obj selected save it where you'd like, t-shirt and then I recommend doing single object and weld 
and keeping it thin. And if you export that, that means all these points that have been sewed together will be joined together and the topology will flow more evenly all over the t-shirt rather than having them separate and with the seams actually in the t-shirt. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, a dislike if you didn't. If your opinions are otherwise, then just leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you'd also like to leave a suggestion, advice, questions, anything else, just leave it down there as well and I'll answer when I can, even if it's just to say hi. As always, there's Twitter to hit me up on, which is at Sam underscore BA Jones 97. That's available on the next scene, which is the outro. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, guys. Bye.